everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Yachna Marwa. I'm a pattern designer and in this video, we are going to learn how to convert Procreate illustrations into vector using Adobe Illustrator. So if you draw on Procreate and you struggle with creating crisp lines and resizing, this video is for you. And in this way, when we are going to convert step by step, you will learn that how do you convert it without losing its quality so that you can use it for different banners, packaging, logos. So without further ado, let's get this started. So let's start with understanding that how do you convert motives or illustrations into vector. But before we start with this, I would like to mention few pointers. So let's just first understand that what is a vector or a raster. So Procreate, when we create anything, any design on Procreate that is a raster based, it has a size limitations. So if you want to create something like a logo or a wallpaper or something which is on a bigger canvas, you can also do it on a vector and you can change the size in finite time. So firstly, whatever we create here, it's a raster based. So if in order to convert this into a vector, what can we do? So I'm not going to convert every motif into vector, but rather I will convert one or two different types of illustrations or elements you can see here into vector in Adobe Illustrator. So we will put this from Procreate. We will try to convert it into a vector and let's see how it goes. So first thing first is that whenever you're designing, make sure you're designing it on a bigger canvas. So let me just show it to you that under actions and canvas information, you can see that the design size for me is 4500 by 4500. First of all, the design size should be really good when you are creating a vector base or you're trying to convert something. If the size is too low, then you won't be able to achieve the vector you are going to convert. So make sure the size is really good enough. So I've preferably taken a bigger size here so that you can understand the properties. And the second thing is that the elements, let's say you have this element with you. I have this element with me. Secondly, I have maybe a shaded element. So like both the elements, this is a complete flat and this is a shaded element. So we are going to convert both of them and you will understand the difference between both of them because it is very important because sometimes what happens when you try to convert this into a vector, you will not be able to achieve the desired results or the shading which you actually see here. Preferably, I would say that you try to whenever you are creating everything on Procreate, the size, it is actually a Photoshop file which you can convert it. But for now, let's just take it one by one. So first step is that you take one, make sure all the elements are on different layers. Like you can see that I have on each layer different elements. So that is very, very important. So let's say I have this tree with me. So you can long press on Procreate file and this is how you're going to get one motif on one layer. And once you do that, make sure all the layers are hidden. So you just want only on one canvas this and now what you're going to do is you can also hide the background layer. So for me, like a background layer, if you have put it or something, you have it, make sure it is hidden. Either you can hide it or just you should not have any. If you're using a light interface, you will have something like this. If you're using a dark, you will have the black color as the base. So here we are. And I have this and uh, I do not have anything on my canvas. And now I'm just going to go to action share and share it as a png here and when it starts to say exporting you can either save the image here which comes into your gallery else you can if you're using a mac you can use airdrop and you can just airdrop on any of the devices so make sure you have something either you can save the image so it has been saved in your gallery so i think we can do it that way you can also mail it to yourself so whatever method is convenient for you you can take it up from there similarly let me just take a semi shaded kind of a tree so let me just take this one so all of them are hidden and i'm just gonna do the same way so i'm just gonna go to share share it as a png make sure the background is hidden and save image so i've saved this tree as well similarly i'm just gonna do one more tree very quickly i'm just gonna make sure everything else is hidden and i'm gonna do this tree because this is very well illustrated and you will understand the difference also and 
I've saved this image as well. So now I'll go to my gallery and just take it up from there. Now I open my photos here. I'll click here and then it has come like this as a PNG. You can see not without any background. So we have this here, all of these. And now you can also now airdrop it or mail it to yourself so that you can just open it on your Illustrator. So I'm just gonna share it on my computer now. So I am now going to share this airdrop and I'm just gonna put this on my Mac and uh, I'm gonna take it from there. Yeah, so it has been sent. So I'll take it up from the Illustrator now. So I have three PNGs here and then I will just select all of them and just take it to the Illustrator here. I will just simply just drop on the Illustrator and it starts to reload. So let's just wait until it comes. Now I have this and I will convert this into vector. So once you select this and you will get this tracing option and you will find this option image trace. So once you find this, you can go. How many colors are there? I think I can find only two. So I will try to convert this into three colors. And once you click here and press OK, it is going to convert. So it might take a little while. So we'll just wait. It's very simple. Once you convert this something like this, you will go to expand so that it has been done. So now on white surface, it's not visible. So I'll just take this and put it here on uh, the gray base area. And uh, also I can see that there is a background here. So I will go to right click. I'll uh, click here and press ungroup. Once I do that, I will select again or go to this third tool over here and select the white surface and just click here and press delete. Let me just show it to you again. You go to this right, this uh, tool here, the third one, magic wand, and just select this area and whatever white is there on your canvas, it just gets eliminated. And this is how you can get the, and I can just group it again. And this is now a part of the vector. And now you can just see that, okay, you will have to rework a little bit. Like maybe you can just soften this edges or something using brushes, eraser. And there's also one tool, which is called a smooth tool, which is under shaper, the third tool. So you can also use this to shape in anything. And this is how you can get the flat or 2D illustrations image trace and now you can use this the way you want but this is very basic because you do not have any shading let me just give you another example of the shading one so i'll go to the second one here and now i will go to the image trace here and i will go to this time i will not use three colors because there are multiple colors i can use 16 colors and let's just see how it happens okay I'll click on 16 and i'll press ok and it starts to convert and we will wait for a while until it is done i think 16 colors should be okay and let's see how it happens and i know the detailing is not going to be that refined but let's see so this is what happens when you try to convert it into 16 colors let's just try one more time the high fidelity photo and let's see so this is what when i was talking about the details the details are not that prominent when you are going to put any shaded part into a vector so yeah so i think this is still better than the previous one and you can just do the same method you can just expand this and you can just try to put this here so when you are trying to create a pattern let me just ungroup it here and delete all of this and if you again want to get rid of these tiny things so you will see that everything else also be getting deleted so maybe you just go to the eraser and erase only these parts which are only at the corner not the main illustration and i think it should be done so the last bit here yeah and this is how you can see it's not that bad i feel and i can either right click and group it again or press command or control g so this is how i is now converted into vector because the size was too good so even if i just make it larger this is how it's gonna look like and i think it's a decent size you can play it around and yeah so the last thing i think we can just try doing is this as well so this is very complex this is very detailed and we're going to do this also in a uh, high fidelity photo press ok and let's just wait it hardly takes seconds to do that but uh, you will see the difference 
can see how it was very well defined and this is how it looks right now and and I click on expand and the same way I'm just gonna ungroup it and I'll have to make sure that everything else is selected uh, before I ungroup so just a minute yeah so this has been done and you can now group it again and use this so if you are creating a pattern you have to individually put all the let me just put all the elements together and create if you want to create a vector pattern out of this you just have to put all of the elements together put it in png all the different elements and then combine them here on one canvas so these are the illustrations which we can convert it into a vector format so so I think try to do it using the same method and it should be okay. And that's it. Now you know how to convert Procreate illustrations into vector. And this is one of my favorite methods. There are so many other methods available as well, but I do it this way. So whether you are designing it for packaging, whether you're designing the logo, you do everything on Procreate and later convert it into vector. It's really easy. And I hope this video helps you out in some way. So if you like this video, please don't forget to share or subscribe to my channel. And there are many videos coming up. And also if you are interested to learn something very specific on different themes like Mughal, Botanical, Chills. So you can also check out my website learn.lakire. Uh, I'll see you next time. Thank you so much. Bye bye.